The guiding star above is bright, within them shines a clearer light, and leads them on with power benign, to seek the giver of the sign. Good afternoon, welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is evening prayer for Saturday, January the 11th. It's the Saturday after Epiphany. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 104, and Isaiah chapter 61, verse 1 through 9. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, bless the Most High, O my soul. Psalm 104. Alleluia, bless the Most High, O my soul. Most High God, you are great, clothed with honor and majesty. You cover yourself with light like a garment. You stretch out the heavens like a curtain. You lay the beams of your chambers in the waters, and you make the clouds your chariot. <clears throat> and you ride upon the wings of the wind. You make the winds your angels and your ministers flaming fire. You laid the foundations of the earth that it should never be moved. You covered it with the seas like a garment. The waters stood above the mountains. <clears throat> At your rebuke they flee. At the voice of your thunder they run away. They go up by the mountains. They go down by the valleys to the place which you have made for them. You have set a boundary which they may not pass, that they may never again cover the earth. You send the springs into the valleys which run among the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field. The wild asses quench their thirst. By them shall the birds of the air have their habitation, which sing among the branches. You water the hills from your chambers. <clears throat> the earth is satisfied with the fruit of your works. You make the grass to grow for the cattle and the plants for the service of the children of the earth, that you may bring forth food from the earth and wine that makes our hearts glad and oil to make our faces shine and bread which strengthens our hearts. Your trees are full of sap, the Lebanon, cedars of Lebanon, which you have planted, where the birds make their nests. As for the stork, the fir trees are her home. The high hills are a refuge for the wild goats and the rocks for the rabbits. You appointed the moon for the seasons and the sun knows its time for going down. You make darkness and it is night where all the beasts of the forest do creep. The young lions roar after their prey and seek their meat from God. The sun rises, and they gather themselves together and lie down in their dens. People go forth to their work and labor until the evening. O oh God, how wondrous are your works! In wisdom you have made them all, and the earth is full of your riches. Yonder is the great wide sea, where there are innumerable living things, both small and great. There go the ships. There is that Leviathan whom you have made to play there. These all wait upon you, that you may give them their food in due season. That which you give them they gather. You open their hand, your hands, and they are filled with good. You hide your face, they are troubled. You take away their breath, and they die and return to dust. You send forth your spirit, and they are created and you renew the face of the earth. Your glory shall endure forever. You shall rejoice in all your works. You look on the earth and it trembles. You touch the hills and they smoke. I will sing to you as long as I live. I will sing praise to you, my God, while I have my being. My meditation of you shall be sweet. I will be glad in you. Let the sinners be consumed from the earth, and let the wicked be no more. Bless the Most High, O my soul. Praise God, Most High. 
Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Bless the Most High, O my soul. Alleluia. The lesson is from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 61, beginning at verse 1. The Spirit of Yahweh God is upon me, because the Most High has anointed me. He has sent me to bring good news to the oppressed, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, to release the prisoners, to proclaim the year of Yahweh's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, and to comfort all who mourn to provide for those who mourn in Zion, to give them a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit. They will be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of Yahweh to display his glory. And they shall build up the ancient ruins, they shall rise up the former devastations, and they shall repair the ruined cities the devastation of many generations. Strangers shall stand and feed your flocks, and foreigners shall till your lands and dress your vines. But you shall be called priests of Yahweh, and you shall be named ministers of our God. You shall enjoy the wealth of the nations, and in their riches you shall glory, because their shame was double, and dishonor was proclaimed as their lot. Therefore they shall possess a double portion. Everlasting joy shall be theirs. For I am Yahweh. I love justice. I hate robbery and wrongdoing. I will faithfully give them their recompense, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them. Their descendants shall be known among the nations, and their offspring among the peoples. And all who see them shall acknowledge that they are a people whom Yahweh has blessed. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, and your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. We are created by your word, O Most High God, and your creation tells your glory in all the earth. Hide not your face, but renew us each day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.